The easiest way to do this one is to first rewrite this equation in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, okay? where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So what I want to do is solve this equation for y. So I'm going to first subtract 15 from both sides, so I'll have three, uh, 12x plus 3y equals negative 15. Then I need to subtract 12x from both sides, so I'll have 3y is equal to negative 12x minus 15. Okay. Well, now I need to divide both sides by 3, so the y will be by itself, so divide by 3, divide by 3, so y is equal to. Whenever you have two things being added or subtracted from each other, two terms, you, um, and then divided by a single number, you divide each of the individual terms by that number. So what we would do is we would divide 12x by, negative 12x by 3, and then we would divide negative 15 by 3. Okay, so y would equal negative 4x minus 5. Okay, so my slope is the number in front of the x, the coefficient on the x, so it's negative 4 and my y-intercept is negative 5. So what this tells me is my first point is right here, point 0, negative 5. To be able to graph a line, you need two points. Well, we have one. We can find the second one using the slope. It's sometimes easier to rewrite the slope as a fraction, so I'm going to write it as negative 4 over 1. The reason I did this is I can use negative 4 as my rise and 1 as my run. Okay, so with a negative rise, that means go down 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and a run of 1, let's go over here. I could have also used, because negative 4 over positive 1 is the same thing as 4 over negative 1, I could have used a positive 4 run and a negative, I'm sorry, a positive 4 rise and a negative 4 run, so that means I go 1, 2, 3, 4 up and one to the left. So I only needed the two points, but I have three here, so I just draw a line through them. Notice all three points are collinear, which is good. And there we go.